Tool Academy, episode four. You know the tools, you know those alphas, those little fun, lovable guys. Well, most of them are lovable. They do a lot of abuse and cheating and general bad things in relationships, but they're trying to be reformed, possibly because there's $100,000 in the line and their girlfriends made them sign up for the show, but they're trying to be reformed. And we are in episode four right now of Tool Academy season two, which has so far been honestly better than season one in all accounts. The tool's energy was flipping over, mad, throwing. John. Oh, okay. The exits on the show. Josh, Josh, Josh. Listen, listen. You've been expelled. You're a tool, you've been expelled. Hey, hey, Exit! Hey. Get the f out of here right now! You've been expelled, you are a tool. Leave! Get the f out! Tool Academy season one was great, don't get me wrong. Tool Academy season two just has this little bang of energy that I'm just enjoying. Not to be confused with the bang energy that I drink every day at 6 p.m., which leaves me with night terrors I was talking about earlier. Forget that. Let's jump in, huh? Let's jump in. So Jay Daddy and Kathleen went back last time, right? Okay, here we go. And I don't feel like I get appreciated for that. It got him expelled. You're just a tool. And dumped on the spot. I need to work on myself. Peace out. But Justin's exposed. <laughs> I didn't see that last time. She just said peace out, bitches, or something to the other girls. All right, Kathleen. Damn, shit. Okay. Peace What's out, John? bitches. I, I really don't feel what? like you aren't that bad. Why you worry about me so much? What? Dude? Whose big mouth isn't winning him any fans at the Tool Academy? He doesn't get his own money. All right, Charm is number one most wanted in the Tool Academy house. They're moving his goddamn Tonight, bed. After a shocking therapy session. I know I made the joke, but this can't be therapy, right? I've never been, but this can't be it. If this is therapy, I'm not going. The guys rise up in the first ever Tool Academy Rebellion. It's me right now. A Tool it Academy Rebellion? On Tool Academy. Wow, what a promise. We got a Tool Academy Rebellion this episode. All right, lock in. This ain't no pony ride. Woke up and we all went downstairs and made breakfast. Charm spent the night in the rec room. Well, you ate your food weird ass. Did you put any milk in there? We all made our breakfast, and Charm has never once helped out with making breakfast. That <laughs> is ready. We all decided we're over his book and I mean, we're just gonna ignore him from here on out. Can you pass the eggs off? One last sausage patty. All the eight tools. We all had a nice feast. Charm, he's the ninth tool. He sat down at the table. And we weren't gonna let him eat any of our food. I wanted to say something to everybody at the table. I ain't trying to be friends with nobody here. I don't care if anybody likes me or not. That's not the reason why I'm here. I'm here because of my girl. You feel like I'm fake? That's cool. You can feel like I'm fake, and I respect that. Just be respectful enough to stay out of my space, stay out of your space, and it's no like nobody like trying to like bum rush anybody. So that's it. These hash browns are good, Stu. Nice. Ignore him. These hash browns are fire. What was he talking about? Honestly, fair play though. You don't need any alliances in this game. I mean, you're an alliance with your girlfriend. He's kind of failing on that part. But you don't need alliances with the dudes. I mean, it's probably not nice to sleep out in the grand hall. So maybe you should do something about that. But fair play, charm. Gentlemen, please report to the therapy room. <clears throat> Your girlfriends are dead. Girlfriend we killed all of them. Welcome back, gentlemen. Thank you. And I'm just waiting on Leah. You know, anytime now, she's going to be walking on here. So They're never coming. Right As you've noticed, your girlfriends are not around. Mm -hmm. And they won't be joining us till later. This week, our focus... And by later, I mean never. Many of your girlfriends feel that you don't appreciate them. In this week's therapy session, we're taking a very different approach. In many relationships, Couples wait until too late to say how they really feel. We're really going so there? each of you will be attending your girlfriend's mock funerals. Okay. That's just... <laughs> Okay, Trina. All right. Trina, you've done a lot of fast ones. You've pulled a lot of bullshit in this show. That's questionably therapy. This is the one time I gotta call you on it. It's just not. You can't put that label on this. It's not it. Mock funerals. Pretend your girlfriend's dead. This will help your relationship. Okay. And we'll get a chance to say what you never got around to saying while they were still here. We are going to imagine as if our girls are dead. <laughs> And I'm like, whoa. This is heavy. This is a TV show, right? Well, first listen to why your girlfriend feels you take her for granted. And then you will give an impromptu eulogy at your girlfriend's memorial. Oh, man. Impromptu eulogy? <laughs> oh, boy. So this one's the most important for Christina. For me to finally show her just how much I appreciate her. I don't like funerals, I hate funerals. 
I usually don't go to them. Come on in, Drapey. You don't go to them? Drapey, to be fair, I don't think anyone likes funerals. No one's fucking putting on their rave gear for a funeral, but I, I feel you. Okay, so the girl's in the fucking casket. It feels so real, man. Like, I really lost Leah. Like, it was over. Reality just beat the shit out of me. This coffin signifies the end of your relationship. And you have lost Leah. She is gone. Somebody just unplugged the game, man. Like, it's gone. It's game over. No, she's alive, I buddy. Like they didn't the kill her. 15 months of Leah and I's relationship, I could have lost her any day. We have a message from Leah. Oh, don't play a message. I think that Andre is very unappreciative. I think that he doesn't <laughs> really realize how much- you imagine this at a real funeral? Like, we have a message from her in the afterlife. Fuck that, dude. My boyfriend sucks. Doesn't appreciate me for shit. Peace out. I'm going to heaven now. Andre, you're going to hell. I would love to just build a, a solid foundation. I would like- um, a good man for my daughter. <laughs> and it just I ends. Know, I was laying in there and then I could hear him talking. I heard everything he said. I just want to say that you are a wonderful woman. Scare him. And a wonderful mom. I heard Andre, you know, break down and start crying. I want to promise you that now that you are gone, <laughs> And I will take care of Bria for you, and she will not be a parentless. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't think she had to hide in there. I mean, she could just be in the other room. This really is just kind of like a little extra set piece thing they wanted to do. I mean, she could be literally any bear. She could just hear him talking afterwards. She doesn't have to be there. But sure, put her in the casket. Child, <laughs> this is you just for us. so hard for that little girl. Oh, her nose are flaring, nostrils are flaring, and she doesn't have to act dead. She can open her eyes. Do you wish that she could have heard everything that you said? I wish she could hear everything I said and what I felt. I well, mean guess so what? Much. Okay, so. Surprise, bitch. <laughs> She's actually dead. So oh, she is. Open your eyes. Come That's the reveal. Open your eyes. You're not actually dead. <laughs> Here's the surprise. Boom. We stuffed her. This is a crazy episode, dude. Can <laughs> under settle the dispute? What dispute is going on? Was that guy really crying? Uh, I don't know. Hard to tell. I don't know. All I'm saying is before all these guys go in here, they must know it's like gonna be a battle of who can feign the most sympathy. Because there's no way you can get yourself emotional enough to actually think your girlfriend's dead. <laughs> But they're crying like it is, so, you know. But they gotta come off the most empathetic of the boyfriends. So, like, the battle for these guys is to act like they can cry the hardest. That casket made me think, I ain't ready to stand up to death, nor am I ready to lose my girl. Do you wish that she could have heard everything that you said? I wish she could hear everything I said and what I felt. Dude, this is a Mr. Beast video just waiting to be made. But actual funerals, actual people that they convince them to be dead, and boom, they're alive. Jimmy, get on it! Fake funerals, but the people are actually alive. We gave life back to families. Suddenly, people's grandpas and grandmas are rising from the grave. Oh, that would be beautiful. Oh, that's a great idea. I might just have to steal it. Not bad. Andre finally acknowledged it. <laughs> but I'm really sweaty. I so much in our relationship, and he <laughs> hadn't appreciated that and had took it for granted. Oh, my legs don't work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not dead. Welcome, T Shaw. To walk in there. Welcome to the funeral, T Shaw. Welcome to this very serious funeral, T Shaw. See it set up like it's Nicole's funeral. Killed me. Yeah. There's nothing worse than someone you love dying. And I definitely don't want Nicole to leave me without knowing how I feel. Terry, like, I don't think he understands, like, how he makes me feel. I think what hurts me the most is just being just at the bottom when it comes to, like, his priorities, I'm at the bottom. What are your feelings after seeing that, Tisha? Uh, Nicole, I just want to say I'm sorry. Even though I did love you, I didn't want to say it. We've been I've been sleeping with another woman. And I do love you, Nicole. No. I wish she could hear you say that right now. Yeah. Well, guess what? Trina loves this part. Terry told me that he loved me. It did feel good, but at the same time, it's hard to accept because we do have a lot of problems to still work on. I don't want you to die, and I don't want you to feel unappreciated. Get back into character. Lay like down. Years, like, it's been three years, and he, God. like, hasn't told me that he loved me. The bar me. is so high. He doesn't want her to die, dude. Oh. That's sick. This relationship is very promising. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was doing. Because usually I want my girlfriend to die literally every day. 
God, I want to kill her Welcome myself. Frank, come on in. Allegedly. The memorial to your girlfriend. I'm walking into this funeral for Christina. I'm kind of speechless because funerals mean Because this end. is so stupid. I want to believe that Frank loves me. I feel like his priorities are just f***ed up. He acts like I don't matter. Frank puts his friends before me. I want to be with Frank forever. My friends are sick. But I won't be with Frank forever if I can't be sure he's going to be there for me. If I could just really just show her that I love her, I mean. I'm laying in this coffin, is completely closed, and Frank doesn't know I'm there. And for somebody who's always so full of <laughs> Frank was speechless. All she wanted was like, you know, a note in the morning just that said, I love you, or me to come home with a flower or something. Just little things that I always overlooked. Okay, now we're getting to the like, obviously fake crying, right? I'm not seeing any tears here, dude. I'm hearing some vocal flare, all right? Not bad on that, but I'm not seeing the, the tears. Oh my god, she was there the whole time, no way. I mean, but I kind of feel like today was payback for all the hurt Frank has put me through. I've always loved you. Hey, back. They more. don't actually think I you're love dead. Frank, but he needs a big wake up call, and I feel like he got that today. We totally got his ass. He continued to show just how big of a toll a lack of appreciation oh God. can have on her. He's gonna smash it. Sarah feels insecure about her looks and the future. I feel like I have to keep up with my appearances and make sure that you don't gain any weight just so that John will stay interested. I really thought. I was doing everything I could to show her that I loved her and I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. I'm really shaken up from this. I need some weights and a chicken sandwich, stat. <laughs> I'm really shaken up from this. This has messed up my schedule. Protein at 2 p.m. I usually have a shake and a sandwich now. This is cut into my day. This is really fucking me up physically, not emotionally. I'm fine. Andrea believes she's on the back burner. I'm so sad to put you through everything to hurt you, you know? Okay, get this guy off the show, man. Get Charm off the show. I'm so sad that I put you through everything that hurt you, you know? Get him off the show. At least try to fake cry. You should have lost last round. I don't know how you got through. And Shannon is taken for granted. I just charm want charm has zero charm. For him. And to be like appreciated. I'm sorry, I've never shown you the respect that you've deserved because you're an angel. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. You're an angel who's going to heaven. <laughs> Jabs a knife right through the casket. So it just really makes me feel like I'm just an obligation to hang out with. It's like I kind of feel like I'm being used sometimes. All I know is that she's in God's hands now and she's in a better place and I hope God takes care of her and she's oh, not really <laughs> Also, hold on. Why is his speech kind of like closure? <laughs> I think the challenge of this is supposed to be like, oh my God, I miss her so much. Oh no, like I can't believe she's dead. Storch is like, nah, God's got her. She's in a better place, honestly. Yeah, I was the worst, you know. God's looking out for her. I'm so happy she moved on. Store, buddy, gotta do better than that, come on. All I know is that she's in God's hands now. <sighs> she's in a better place. And I hope she's in a God better place. It was just really sad to hear him say, I know you're up there in heaven and God's taking good care of you. And I'm an atheist. What is he talking really about? I realize how much I need to him. Someday I'll be able to meet up with her, but. <laughs> <laughs> no I way. I appreciate Trina for using the method of setting up a fake funeral. It's going to make me appreciate her a lot more now because. She can be taken away at any instant from me. I do not want to regret the fact that I never told you I loved you. Oh, oh no. Did you not ever tell him he loved him? Okay. Crazy one. I really think Stort might be dumb enough that he thought she died. That's all I was getting from that one. That might have been the only one where the reveal actually was a real reveal. What? God sent you back down? The hell happened at the pearly gates? This is a memorial. To your right. girlfriend, Becky. You know, Facts. I'm bored today. I'm gonna pretend Becky's dead. That sounds like fun. Let's let's do that. I'm like, really? For sure. I'm not make believe. I'm not a fairy tale. Okay, I, I like this guy actually. Mike treats me. He said that I didn't appreciate some of the things he does. I'm like, I don't have. He's gonna light it on fire, does, thinking there's you know? no one in there. I am in love with Mike. I always um. I really. This is between you and her. Isn't she? Well, this is between you. What are your thoughts about her? He knows her? she's in there. So maybe if the, if the picture helps you, but... So just talk to her, like, we're having a conversation. 
I see my girlfriend, but she's dead. You know, I should have been giving 50%, if not more than that. Just make your life a little better. This is stupid, this is dumb. What is going on with therapy? Like, is this like some kind of joke? It's a private conversation you're having with her. You never really held a grudge regardless how terrible I was to you. It's like the biggest joke ever. Show me the light at the end of the tunnel, Trina. I mean, yeah, he's not wrong, is he? <laughs> I mean, I, I can tell like he's one step away from being like, you know, you don't deserve shit, but he's not wrong. Like this isn't therapy, this is a joke. It opens and my first thought is, Becky, me and you could definitely go have a quickie. I'm just trying to say you're dead, but what's in my pants is very much alive. Okay, well, you know, I what I just said, you know, so I told you, it could very easily just immediately flip on a dime. <laughs> We are on a show called Tool Academy. It is true that it could just flip on a dime. But at first, I was hearing him out. At first, I'm like, you know what? Facts, dude. This is stupid. <laughs> I don't know why he got all horny and weird at the end, but, you know, he was doing all right until then. On to the next. Hello, Tyler. I've never been at a funeral in my life. I like to walk down there and, like, see, like, the casket and, like, her picture. And it sent chills up my body for sure. My biggest for sure. fear with our relationship. He used to talk about marriage and things like that with me. And now he can't talk about it. He's just like, well, I'm, I'm too young. I want to have a good time. And then I feel stupid because I've been with him for so long and I can't even be myself anymore. And I don't know what I would do without him, you know? I never realized how much I haven't been putting her first and I just worry about myself and worry about my friends. And I'm sorry that I just don't feel like talking about marriage or nothing no more. And it's just, I don't know what happened to me. I don't know why I started doing that. It was extremely difficult laying in that casket. I think it I got was really uncomfortable, kind of claustrophobic. I, I had the most wonderful girl that I can ever imagine. Listening to the love of your life tell you everything that you want to hear, and you can't say one thing. Is that really everything you want to hear? Kind of sound like a little word yap salad to me. I don't know why I'm this way. I don't know why I treat you like this. I don't know why. Is that what you want to hear? So whatever girl wants to hear? I don't know why. I want what we used to have. I definitely felt like the casket was like our relationship, you know, like it's just dying. You know, Shay's doing everything she can, but I'm the one that's pushing her away. That definitely was hard to see that, for sure. Okay, Nine mock funerals are like, over. Are gonna Who are these? On a date and we're gonna have to watch that. Whoa, a cock episode? Oh, what? I see where the rebellion get starts. Oh, good. Get that. Ah! Oh, hell yeah. They are bringing other guys to take their girlfriends on dates. Oh, wow. What a setup. All in one episode. God, this is the best episode. All right. Volphilia, oh, oh, thanks oh, for Prime Sub as well. Stop. Holy shit, he's ginormous, dude. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. This way, this way. I'm feeling after therapy from last night. Like, I don't know what today's going to bring. We just kind of want to, like, put that behind us. Our girl's not dead. And we're just trying to be happy again and just like get ready for whatever challenge could be next. Did you ever think they were? The girls are not dead. Thank God. As you guys know, this week's lesson is appreciation. Let the host say one more day, too. I know that you all are feeling a little unappreciated in your relationships. And you all had to watch a very disturbing video of your boyfriends interacting with another woman during the fidelity therapy session. <laughs> So, tonight, your boyfriends will have to watch as each of you are taking- This show is something else, dude. We are going to reform your relationships and make you a happy, healthy couple that can survive long term. So, we sent these girls to try to fuck your dudes, and here's some dudes that are trying to fuck you. If you guys get through this challenge, you'll have a very healthy relationship going forward. Taken out on a date. So, here are really hot guys that'll when treat Jordan you well. told us that we were going on dates with guys, and our boyfriends are going to be watching. My initial reaction was, John is going to freak out big time. Oh, no. John's going to start the rebellion. A true, perfect John is captain of the rebellion. you out on a date and show you how a woman should be treated. I have never been on a date with a true gentleman. And I wanted to, like, do this so that Dan could possibly learn something. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned. Please, I'm begging for somebody to switch. One of the dates has to go just so, so well. And one of the girls just has to switch. I'd be like, yeah, what am I doing? Payback's a bitch. I wanted to, Frank to understand what it feels like to be me. I'm gonna look hot as and make him wish he didn't screw up. 
I was very excited with this exercise. I felt like Frank, if anything, he's going to understand what karma feels like. Gentlemen, as you already know, this week's lesson is appreciation. John is gearing and up to attack. In yesterday's therapy, your girlfriends have spent the majority of their relationships with you feeling unappreciated. So tonight, your ladies are going to be treated to the date of a lifetime. We can see the limo coming up. And we're just trying to figure out what's going on. It would on. be awesome if they did a crossover episode and they bring out all the tools from season one whose relationships inevitably didn't work out. They bring them back. Or it's like Beauty and the Geeks. All the geeks show up. Like, well, Richard's here. Richard's like, oh, what's up, guys? I can talk faster than you can read. <laughs> Who are these studs? Oh, my God. They're all male models. And I'm like, right away, I just knew. Like, I knew that these guys are going to be taking our girls on a date and we're going to have to watch that Unfortunately, guys, you... Why they all to be hot? <laughs> this challenge. You'll be able to watch each girl's meet and greet on a monitor inside. I'm not about to take my girl on a date. They are, and they're f***ing smirking at me. The key to this exercise... I am too. ...is to learn how a true gentleman treats a lady and to appreciate her... What is this, the Barcelona soccer team? Why are they all beautiful, dude? They all have chiseled jawlines. The fuck is this? Your girlfriend's had to watch you interact with other women during the Fidelity therapy session. And now it's your turn. Dude, John's already beat up with flag football earlier. I know this may be difficult for some of you to see, but seeing the reality of your girl with another man might just be the wake up call you need. That's big ass. When you okay, uh, you're gonna die. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not believing anything actually shattered there, all right? He didn't shatter something twice. <laughs> John's tough, but he's just hitting a wall next to him. We don't got to add those shatter sound effects. Might just be the wake-up call you need. That's a big ass. One of you are going to die. One of you is going to fucking die. Seriously, we are way too pissed for you to be smiling at us. Gentlemen, please head upstairs. I want to know which one and when and right now, man. I trust my girl. It's happening now. Let's go, bro. No. I'll kill you if you think you're <laughs> You know for a fact, these dudes, Frank and Mike, would not be stepping up for a fight if they didn't have John right there. If they did not have John backing them up, they are not going to approach any of those dudes. But if you got John with you, I mean, I might be down to throw hands with just a near bout anybody, honestly. No, they're not going to let you get over there, guys. Who took my, who took my girl out? Oh, he let him right over there. Who took my girl out? It's me right Yeah, let's beat up these actors. It's me right No. Who is he even going after? Who are you targeting? Maybe it's a show producer. I don't know. I, I, I gotta wonder who he's going for. No. Get off me, you free mom! Get off! I literally just blew up. Get know out. your enemy. I wanted to punch him in his throat, you know? Did you miss? Drive up! Did the guys get back in the limo? I feel like the actors hid back in the limo. So now he's yelling at them in the car. Hey, John, you got hired by the security. I'm just like, holy shit, dude, this is insane. Look at me, dude. Like Mike A was like, maybe hit producers and shit. Mike, look the <laughs> at me right now, dude. They are like, going to producers. And I'm like thinking, okay, our girls watched our videos. Why not watch their videos? Look at me. Go, dude. Let it look go. at me, Mike. Don't touch me again. Like, everybody's calm down. Like, because it's crazy. It's not worth it. Let's go. Come on, dude. Turn Let's go. Come on. Come on, Mike. I can't believe they took down John so easily. I don't know what Frank's getting up in arms about. I mean, at least let the date have you. Why does it matter who the dude is? Why do you want to beat the shit out of him already? He just signed up for the show. He didn't sign up for taking your girl, you know? I don't think. Jesus. I want to see the. I want to see. I want to see it because it's going to determine a lot. I'm not going to watch my girl for the whole out. You know they did not do nothing, dude. Everybody was freaking out, you know, and I was just like, just trying to get everybody calm. How little trust you must have. If you got that little trust, break up. It's not only being filmed, you get to watch it live and they know that. If you don't trust her, yeah, break the fuck up. Mike, Mike, I'm not watching the date. Put me on the chopping block. Let's just watch the video, you know what I mean? We don't even know what it takes back yet. No, I'm not watching, don't. Dude, you know girlfriends in, dude. Dude, I don't want to see you my know. girl with another dude. Dude, stop. Come here, brother. Okay, listen. You know they didn't do nothing. Just bring those guys back. No one's watching us right now. Let's kiss. 
Nico chair. As difficult as this is for the men to and watch. And then she gets to watch them watch their girlfriends go on a date. Cockception. And now I mean, we're watching her watch these guys watch their girlfriend on a date. And now you're watching me watch Trina watch these guys watch their girlfriend on a date. You guys are the ultimate cucks. You're the ultimate cuck in this situation right now. Damn, that's rough. That's you're just nice. a cuck. <laughs> he switches it up just for this episode. At least he's not attractive. Nicole. And I, I've seen a lot of guys. <laughs> I don't particularly find this guy attractive. Hi. Nicole. Oh, no, he's Hi, hot. Chuck. Nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, nice to meet you. Too. Wow, you're stunning. Oh, thank you. Wow. Wow. When Terry sees me on a date with another guy, he will really realize, like, what he has in front of him. I've had a boyfriend for three years, but we've been really, like, off and on, but... Does he know how good he has it? Now he's starting to realize it, but I don't really know. Well, he better now. Shut the f up. That's a f <laughs> dude. <laughs> Would you mind? Can I try giving you a little sure. hand massage here? Are you kidding me? Why don't you slap me in my face now? You know, what do they tell these guys? I wonder what their mission is. Their goal is to be the guy who's like a girlfriend's guy best friend who secretly wants to fuck them. That's their character. It's like, go in, try to break them up. <laughs> Does he know how good he has it? Does he know like how much like he should be caring and loving you all the time? Cause I would be caring and loving you way more. <laughs> Some guys just don't get it, I guess. I've opened up so much and Nicole's mate just slapped me in my her face off? What's going on? By uh, letting a guy rub all over her hands. At least this ugly as dude. That's the only good thing that's going on right here. We just have like trust issues. Terry, you better work hard. Shut the f up, Nick, give me a Tool bitch. Academy center too. He's really holding this for a long time. I'm never dropping this. Camera out of my face. F you. T Shaw's reaction is completely overblown. Nicole hasn't done anything to provoke this level of anger. Who's a dick on their hand? What the hell? Do the whole s'mores thing? <laughs> I haven't had like s'mores in so long. All right, let's do it. Uh, Sue has put me through so much bullshit. And I can't wait for him to sit down and watch me go on a date with a hot guy. Oh, hot guy. Really I tell her that all the time, dude. So tattoos and piercings. I mean, that's really cool to have jewelry right, jewelry right here. It's very different. Yeah, it says S. <laughs> well, it was really wonderful. Oh, that's what it's for? It's me, perfect gentleman, to pick me up, take me to a nice restaurant, pay for dinner, and still he doesn't have a car, so he can't do that. Ouch. That's kind of mean. Also, this guy didn't take you to a restaurant. I'm pretty sure you're just back in the backyard right now, but all right. Oh, you look fantastic. Thank you. So do you. Thank Your you. name is Stu awesome. and you don't have a car. I've never gone on a nice fancy date with Charm. So what do you do? Just doing my general stuff right now. I think I want to be a nurse. My baby, know what's up. I like the nursing thing. I can't, uh, I can't say I'm not thinking of the nurse's outfit right now. Okay. It's funny because as much direction as they give them, I mean, these guys still got to do their thing and some of them might just have no game. Well, hold on. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see the response. <laughs> Congratulations. What, you want a plaque? You want a kiss? Yeah, if I'm Charm right now, I'm like, all right, cool. I got the guy with no riz. All right, though. Charm's obviously not taking the tool academy that seriously. <laughs> You know, we're all sitting there watching our girlfriends out on these dates with these other guys, and he's sitting there giggling about this stuff. <laughs> I don't think he's really here for his girlfriend at all. Well, he's the only one so far that hasn't gotten unreasonably pissed at their girlfriend on this date that the show set up. So, honestly, first time Charms won me back. He's laughing it off. This is silly. Beautiful. Okay. I think uh, I would like it if you were on it. Thank you. I had a great time with you. You too. I'm hoping that Charm will just appreciate that there are other no, guys. He's mad as fuck on her. A little bit, I guess. Not as mad as the other guys. That's what you got? <laughs> nah, he's like he's like laughing mad though. He's definitely mad, but he's like laughing mad. You know, he's laughing it off. It's better than John L trying to take out the producers. So you know, there's that. To be able to take a girl out and see, you know, do the special thing for them. To see them smile makes you smile. Yeah, oh, but this you're guy's gonna kill it, dude. They're gonna tell. I do want Dan to have that like feeling of sadness that I had when I had to sit there and watch him flirting with those her energy girls and denying me as his girlfriend. Doing special things for girls and planning special dates. And well, I wish more guys thought like that. <laughs> me and Shannon, we went on a bike ride. That, that was like the last date we went on. I mean, I hope you can count that as a date. I wish that he would do the whole planning of the dates. 
She knows my situation. I want <laughs> to be the one to- Well, we don't. Tell us. Now, I'm curious. What is your situation? How bad is it that you can't do a date? She knows my situation. Can't be that bad if you took off for like a month to go situation. on a reality show. I can't be terrible. Be my baby, please. <laughs> Gotta think of more options. It was great to meet you. You too. You look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you very much. I need to step off, dude. <laughs> Okay, you know, that guy definitely could have swept her off his feet. I could tell that actor was holding back, but he was respectful about it, you know? Hi. Sarah? I'm Brad. Someone switch. Brad. Someone's got to switch. With a random guy, because I felt like that was deceiving and betraying uh -oh. my boyfriend. And uh -oh. I was like, no, you don't understand. Have you met John? Oh, he really is bleeding. Oh, shit. He's got a full on gauze on his hand from throwing a punch earlier. Or is that from the glass? Maybe he shattered. Shattered. Maybe he actually did fucking shatter glass before he came out. I really didn't believe he actually shattered a lamp. It sounded fake. Now, what's really funny is that that guy who's on a date right now absolutely has to know that it's John. Someone told him at this point. If there's been a fight breaking out, he knows this fucker is watching him. Arnold Schwarzenegger's long lost cousin. And I was like, no, you don't understand. Have you met John? It's like he's like, he's all nervous. He's like, talk a little about yourself, sir. Well, I'm from Boston. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. My friend is from Boston as well. The guy that went on the date with Sarah seemed like a nice enough guy. <clears throat> um, if I had a bad tan, a bad haircut, I was a little shorter, a lot skinnier, and had a big crooked nose, we'd probably look a lot alike. You're, you're oh, beautiful John, lady, by the damn. Way. I wanted a date with my boyfriend. I didn't want a date with some dude that I don't know. Uh, it's been a pleasure here. You too. I've had a Thank great you time. very much. Yeah. Thank you. Don't. Sarah's setting up a wall. Sarah right. and John actually might work out. Beautiful. I mean, John is an over-aggressive, frankly, kind of an asshole, but I, I do hope their love works out, you know? I think she's probably good for him. Or she's terrified oh. of John. <laughs> or she's just really scared. We got some fruit, too. I don't think that Tyler's ever thought of me actually going on a date with some true gentleman and watching uh -oh. somebody There's some loving eyes I've right there. I've gotten to the point where I feel as though I, I know I can be treated better. What the f***? Why am I wasting my time if somebody's with me that they don't know if they love me and they can't give me the time of day and they can't introduce me as their girlfriend? Watching the day, you know, it started killing me more because I saw how, like, Shay was talking a lot because she was trying to make me listen, you know what I mean? You're very charming <laughs> and you can definitely find someone who wants to hold hands with you. Find someone, Shay's find someone. That's kind of saying find someone else. <laughs> You're absolutely stunning. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Don't like, hear that very often. Caught up in your eyes. My eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Don't get too lost. <laughs> Danny was definitely my type, to say the least. Um, another time, another time. Yeah, place, did they really have to I pick the guy that looks the most eyes. like her boyfriend? <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying they look exactly alike, but I mean, out of everyone we've seen so far, that they have to pick the guy with the same vertical face build? And that's not cool. Another time, another place, I would definitely be interested in Danny. I have a boyfriend. Needless to say, he's quite the douchebag. <laughs> Why is he a douchebag? He cheats on me frequently. Doesn't appreciate anything I do. Fair. You have to go to the Bahamas to take your mind off of things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he kept asking her to go to the Bahamas and she wasn't saying no. It didn't even feel like she was thinking about me. I hope everything works out. If it doesn't, I'm in LA. And we could definitely take a trip to the Bahamas. There it is. How would I get in touch with you? There it is. <laughs> Ah! 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 Air swing. <laughs> wow, she accepted the contact information too, knowing there's cameras on her, knowing the boyfriend's watching. Ballsy move. This episode's off the fucking rails, dude. It really is. It's all over the place. Effort. Frank's girl was totally overboard. She came out in this little sexy ass dress. Don't do that, dude. Our date's almost coming to an end. Damn, I almost wanted to hit on her. The whole time, I noticed Frank erupting. Frank is a little ticking time bomb, and he doesn't say much. He just explodes. I hope everything works out. If it doesn't, I'm in LA. And we could definitely take a trip to the Bahamas. Uh, man, this is not a joke right now, man. Ma, how would I get in touch with you? Oh, my god. I guess somehow we could work it out. Definitely. Oh, god. Ah! Frank can't see how Christina may be giving him a taste of his own medicine. I mean, maybe Trina. Or maybe she is just cheating on him. I mean, how do you know, really? 
<laughs> she could also just be cheating on him too. It might not just be fake payback. It's to us. Oh, this is for you, by the way. Leah better not do what Christina did or I'm done. I have a boyfriend named Andre. Saying he deserves it is one He's thing, separate. sure. But if their goal is to keep him together, I mean. <laughs> I have a boyfriend named Andre. There you go, baby. He's not there really an ass. I mean, you know, he can have his <laughs> times, but I definitely do see potential in him, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, is he being a good provider? Well, he... Because I make a lot of money. <laughs> um... Um... <laughs> if I'm really going to be this man for Leah and her daughter Bria, then I need to get my ass back in school, get a degree, so then I can provide for my family. Fair enough. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm Robbie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's your name? Becky. Nice to meet you. Oh, Robbie. Hello. You seem like a sweet girl. Robbie. I seem like it. <laughs> oh, you're not? Oh, I'm you're a devil? Kidding. Slutty. What I see in Mike is an insecure guy that does a lot John. of- <laughs> John, I don't think you'd be throwing that word around, dude. I seem like it. <laughs> oh, you're not? Oh, I'm you're a devil? Kidding. Slutty. <laughs> okay, a, a couple things are happening. One, why would he say that about his own girlfriend? Second, John calling him insecure is crazy. What I see in Mike is an insecure guy that does a lot of things to hide his insecurities. Oh, you're a very nice guy. Okay, John. It wasn't like the last episode about like facing your mirror or whatever. We saw your insecurities too, man. You had some pretty bad ones as well. It's for you. What's going on, bro? Are you showing off or what? Coincidentally, soon as John- Yeah, dude, please go back to John in the confidential. He's really just kind of like a rage demon. Like, uh, this guy can't control his anger. It's, it's really out of control. His hand's like bleeding out still. Dude's got to take it down a notch, all right? He's really not impressing anybody. Shatters another fucking lamp nearby out of frame. Coincidentally, soon as John barks, Mike A growls. Oh, it's kind of like Calvin and Hobbes. Big John and little Mike. You know, he's like, that's who I want to be when I grow up. That's for you. Damn, Dre P. Oh. Shit. I put it there specifically. Oh, nice. Oh, damn, I Dre P. Off so I don't I stab my fingers. <laughs> She's sitting there all smiles and giggles and laughs and enjoying every thing this guy has to say. Yeah, yeah. pretty eyes. <laughs> I lost it. He's going to find a date. They're just in the backyard. Is a reflection of his own insecurities. Oh, he's coming fast. If he can't get past these outbursts, he won't learn a thing from this exercise. I love how currently Mike is sprinting to go find and murder this guy and Trina in the back rooms just watching it. Just like, yeah, he's really got to control himself. Trina, he's about to go kill a dude. You're about to watch a murder. I, I don't know how you're just taking notes right now. Focus on the TV. You're about to see violence. Mike A's jealous rage is a reflection well, of his own try. insecurities. Well, he try, true. If he can't get past these He hasn't got John on him this time. He won't learn a thing from this exercise. Connor, it's mouse takes off again. Where Look, are you going? Where the fuck's this going? date? This property is huge. Running through the sprinkler systems in the field. Where He's is a this? Guy and everything. He just doesn't really know, like what he has in front of him, basically. And send Becky home right now, because I have progress to make for a girl who deserves me. Uh, what does he have in front of him? I have a man. Me. A girl who deserves me. <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, you're a beautiful woman, so. Um, so tell Becky to pack her bags. I'm so. Ed right now. I'm just walking around just lost. Like, I don't even know where I am. I'm so up. Oh, nice. Oh, throw out the camera guy. Nice. I have to imagine he was looking for the date, right? I don't know why he would just run into the fucking sprinkler system. I imagine he was looking for the date and didn't know where it was and it just got lost out there, <laughs> which is hilarious. She's like, yeah, I got his daughter. I kissed him. No, I didn't kiss him. Wait, who said I kissed him and who said I didn't kiss him? Hold on, I'm sorry. I got his daughter. I kissed him. No, I didn't kiss him. I probably would have gotten his number. I don't know who said I kissed him. She's saying I didn't, though. Okay, she didn't get his number. Okay. In the door from her date. I think she was really like goo goo ga ga. So I hope Frank is sitting there. She didn't kiss him or get his number. They thought she did. I see. Because he watched everything. I'm hoping Frank learned that for once, I wasn't fighting for anything. I had this gentleman. Give me the attention, and which, yes, a very refreshing and great feeling. I feel like Frank got a taste of his own medicine, and that's all I need. All right, that was her goal, that so mission accomplished. One minute I'm making my girl cry like that. One minute I'm telling her everything that I've been trying to hide this whole time. I'm trying to end that. And then they put her on a 
date with somebody else. Yeah, like, dude, we have our breaking point, man. We have our feelings, too. The first time I've ever felt like I have no... I'm, like, weak, you know? I've never felt that way. As much as I'm really? trying. We just saw you try to fight the producers. You weren't looking that tough then. After reviewing the couple's progress in therapy. Oh my and God. Okay. The this week, Trina, you could just throw a dart and whoever you kick out. I think I'm okay with it. Whoever you kick out this week, it's just justified. I, you could make a case for literally anybody. <laughs> I've determined which man should be expelled from the academy. Three of them tonight. try to start a rebellion. A rebellion. <laughs> if they're not on the chopping block, who is? One, two, three. Appreciation. Appreciation. I'm definitely not confident going into elimination. Oh, uh, really, John? Broke a few things and chased the group of douchebags in monkey suits, and then Ving Rhames knocked my ass. See, to the one guy took him down, dude. Gentlemen, welcome back to Elimination. Once again, Trina has reviewed your cases, and a decision has been made based on your efforts in therapy and your behavior during the appreciation exercise. Those of you who have passed this week's lesson will earn the Appreciation Merit Badge, and the privilege of remaining at the Tool Academy for another week. If you are expelled, your girlfriend and the fate of your relationship will be waiting for you outside. Will the following gentlemen Fuck please step yeah. forward? Sue, Tyler, okay. and Drake. These are the guys going through. Yep. During the funeral, all three of you were committed to the exercise and fearlessly explored your heartfelt appreciation for your girlfriends. Drapey stock is up right now. You have passed the appreciation course. Okay, those Please three guys accept your did maybe deserve it. Charm. Dan. It's Terry. No. Tisha. At the mock funerals, you all participated admirably and expressed true appreciation for your girlfriends. But during the dating exercise, you focused more on your own bruised egos rather than embrace the experience as a way to become more sensitive boyfriends. And you and still pass because we can only remove one past. person. Please step forward and accept your appreciation merit badge. I don't want to lose John, man. I don't want to lose John. But he did start an uprising. Okay, so now we got Mike, Frank, and John. Mike, Frank, and John. Who goes home? Will John L. take the John L.? Nice. I would expect this to be 30, 30, 30, right? Oh, well, Mike A is the one that really stormed out of the house trying to find the date. So, yeah, Mike joined the rebellion, and Mike tried to storm out and find the date. How did Mike do at the funeral? Did he treat it like a joke? Was that him, or was that T-Shaw? I think that was T-Shaw that did the give me a quickie. No, that was Mike, wasn't it? And my first thought is, Becky, me and you could definitely go have a quickie. I'm just trying to say you're dead, but... What's in my pants is very much alive. You know what's gonna matter is the funeral thing, I think. Who did worse on all three of them? And I think it might be Mike A. All right, 60%. I think Frank's fine. I think it's between John and Mike A. I mean, John's just a liability for the show. That's mainly John's issue at this point. I mean, people are gonna get hurt if you keep them on. It's just a matter of fact. The bottom three, it feels like I'm gonna die. I don't wanna lose her because of this academy. I need to stay so bad. I acted out like a so I'm really also nervous Darth Brooks, 13. Three. Thank you for the prime sub and kitten bouquet bouquet. Thank you for the prime sub to leave Becky here. Three tools stand before us. You prepared to leave her here. Early. Why do people keep doing that? What is up with that? <laughs> If I lose, I'm breaking up with my girlfriend. Interesting strategy. It really is. You guys shouldn't be together if that's what you're thinking. I've already given Frank chance after chance after chance. So if he comes out that door tonight, I'm I'm done with him. Well, be prepared because he might be done with you first. You three are at the bottom of the class this week and had the most trouble in the appreciation challenge. The riot you incited will go down in history as the worst behavior the Tool Academy has ever seen. Well, riot, you guys said rebellion before. Uh, riot's a lot. <laughs> rebellion is still a lot too, but it will go down in Tool Academy history for sure. John. The military you did a coup you stage. Of expressing appreciation in the funeral. And you said some nice things about Sarah. But when you found out that Sarah was going out on a date, you became extremely jealous, violently aggressive. No. And destroyed school property. School property. There it is. Finally get an Mikey, angle on that. See you some glass pop out. the least out. remorse in the funeral exercise. And during the date, you acted so as if Becky was being unfaithful. 
when in reality she was acting like a perfect lady. And you, on the other hand, acted like a wild boar. How fast on a boar. Frank, you had appreciative words for Christina at her funeral. But keep in mind, actions speak louder than words. And Mike During was date, really fast. You were so upset at the idea so you're going of her home. being with another man. You dashed out. But not as fast as Mike. Despite overreacting, once you calm down, you watch yes. the date. We're and keeping John, baby. That being said, congratulations. You have passed the appreciation course. John, you know what we need forward. to lose Mike, dude? Too many guys look the same. He's got to get out of here. Myself and Frank, I felt as though we were neck and neck because we act like cavemen and beasts and tools. I do not want to get expelled from Tool Academy tonight because I definitely still have a lot to learn. Both of you. I like how to spike up my hair when I don't have enough gel. Both of you were unable to control your emotions during the dates. But only one of you demonstrated that you're now prepared to appreciate your girlfriend. This is hard but one of you will be expelled tonight. Frank. Please step forward and accept your appreciation. All marriage. right. Yeah, get rid of Mike A, baby. Just be able to show Christina just how close I am, just to show her how much I'm working at this relationship. I want to howl at the moon. I, I feel so good right Don't now. Don't howl at the moon, man. Being a wild beast is what got you into the situation, all right? Tone it down. Mike A, you're just a tool. Please hang up your coat and the arm wall on the way out. Screw Tool Academy, screw the guys, screw everything. Rebecca's not 100%. She's not completely in on this relationship, you know, so it's still up in the air. Is he doing it? Is he doing the breakup strat? Is he doing the breakup first strat? What the Don't you do it. Don't do it. There's no way. I came, watch out the door, and I was just like, good, thank God. Trina made the right decision, and I'm still here. And they're not. So what did they say? You know, I got expelled because I had a mental breakdown when I saw you go on that date. You had a mental breakdown? What happened? Went absolutely crazy. Nothing. Like, tell Becky to pack her bags. I'm so mad right now. I'm just walking around just lost. I was running around. I was just in tears. I was hysterical. I tried to find yeah, your date and I kill him. Like, Nothing like, weird. Yeah. I'm constantly doing have, things for you, so what are you gonna do for me? Why Why should I go? I'm gonna go? make you the number one person in my life. So oh, you're like number four. Woman. This was your last chance. I know. I deserve better than what you've done. You do. I've been nothing but supportive in your backbone, and you can't even do that for me. You know what, I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't even say it, because I don't wanna say words. I wanna show you. I want to show you when you get home how amazing I can be for you. Mike was telling Becky, like, you know, I want to be with you. I'm going to do whatever I can. Tell Becky to pack her bags. God, am I easy to manipulate? I kind of want to believe him. <laughs> Everyone's saying, leave him, leave it. I have to remember everything he's done. And yeah, I can't get the fuck out of there. But I'm being emotionally manipulated in real time. I love giving people second chances, man. But I mean, he's really blowing everything. <laughs> God, he's suckering me in. If no, you gotta get out of there. Was, what am I saying? Get out of there. I don't know if I can go home with you. Thank God I'm not a woman, dude. He's bringing the tears on. I love you. I'm so sorry. Everyone Real tears? was kind of looking at him. He looked like he was forcing out tears. So everyone kind of thought that he was. <laughs> I do give you another chance. And you up. That's it. You know? One more chance. You, baby. See? See, she's doing it. It just worked in real time. The old one more chance. The old one more chance strat. You always have one more chance after one more chance after one more chance after one more chance. Foolproof. Such a faker. Ah! Either we're gonna go. <laughs> Even them in the crowd. You'll either again and, or you'll actually gonna... grow up. I'm gonna grow up. We're gonna grow together. I promise. I don't think Rebecca him, and Mike going have back a home together. at making it. Just because Mike is a complete douchebag and tool. Mike's a total tool. 
I think even maybe Becky might be a tool too because she just <laughs> swallowed some more of his and got in the car with him. <laughs> I think Becky's a tool too. <laughs> Oh, so a friendly fire. Holy shit. I just think she got manipulated. The old one more chance strat, you know? Of course he's going to fuck up again. Want to go to my house? No. <laughs> no, I'm kind of really over this. Tool Academy, season two, episode four. What'd you think? Who was your favorite tool? What was your favorite rebellion? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you. Oh, Gunner, please stream. Please, Gunner, go live. Gunner, go live. Oh, Gunner, please stream. Please, Gunner, go live. Gunner, go live.